welcome to pathfinders uh, trainings and uh, a market analysis session the bearishness in the market continues and from 11700 rupees levels market has uh, come down to 10000 rupees level 10029 is where the market is right now to start by looking at a daily chart of the index of a nifty and this bearishness is not only in the indian market the bearishness is all across the globe but there is a lot of selling that is happening in the indian market and if you see from the high of uh, 11750 roughly the market uh, broke this level then it broke this level and now the market is coming to this level so we are seeing the market is continuously breaking the levels you know bearishness is coming into the market and this was a channel in which this market was moving and the channel has been broken comfortably and if you see it is the downward channel in which the market has started moving and if i this is where this move started so if i bring it here we see the market uh, is coming down towards 9800 now which is the 50% retracement of the up move a lot of factors are contributing to the bearishness in the market the non banking how you know finance companies is where all the problem started but the problem existed before nifty has never sustained a pe about 28 it has happened only three times as i said earlier it happened in uh, the year 2000 before the crash it happened in the year 2008 start before the crash and it has happened in 2018 so is this a crash no for the moment so it is a correction happening when do you say that uh, the bearish market has started when the price corrects about 20% from the highs then you can say you know that now the bearish market has started and if i calculate from the highs the 20% level of this market it will come to about 9400 level so let's go around that level which is which will be somewhere around this level so this would be a very crucial support level 9440 because if this one breaks on the downward side you can have a further downside in the market what is a fair valuation of this market historically a uh, price to earning of about 20 has been the average pe of the market which will correspond to somewhere around 8200 rupees level so so let's uh, see where is this level so right now coming on this level the market it has been falling for almost two months now this market has been falling and uh, uh, this is a level that is a psychological level of 10000 for the market if psychologically this level is broken so oh, then a lot of uh, stop losses of the long positions would be triggered and uh, further selling pressure can come the uh, fpis have been net seller into this market crude uh, has gone very high so there are a lot of factors that are contributing to this market and uh, uh, i would say be cautious as i said we sold uh, everything at top that's where we sold our full portfolio and now i have started rebuilding the portfolio instead of timing it i have started rebuilding the portfolio uh the bearish market gives you a very good opportunity to make money that is something most people don't realize that in a bearish market there are huge opportunities so my two accounts as i show i trade with 10 lakh rupees every day with my traders today in this options account i booked 8400 rupees and in the other account i booked about 4500 rupees 
So more than 1200 rupees I have booked today. So 12,950 rupees is what I have booked. In addition to that, there is about 1300 rupees more that I have booked in the stocks. But there I have my portfolio stocks, so I can't open that one. So uh, 12,950 is the profit. And as you can see, it's my seventh straight winning day. Yesterday was a retracement trade, most trades for long, including Reliance, Coal Pal, Infosys, you know, and uh, 16,000 yesterday. So seven straight winning days I have now. With uh, uh, 1,54,000 rupees of profit. What have I done with this money? I have converted that into the portfolio. So you make money from intraday and swing trading and convert that into portfolio trades. So your long term portfolio literally becomes free. This is uh, yesterday's trade that I had 16,000 and a uh, 19,000 rupees here. Then this was day before yesterday. So 12,249. So uh, instead of focusing on making 50,000 lakh rupees, I'm focusing on making 10, 20,000 rupees a day, which uh, this market is giving very easily since the volatility has increased now. And uh, the move is bigger. The move is almost double of what the move in intraday was about two months ago. So that means instead of making five, you have the chance of making 10 in a day. So this is the profits that I have made. I've used this to build the portfolio. Let's uh, look at other uh, stocks here. Let's go to the top 10 stocks of India and see how they are doing. So these are the biggies, the top stocks of India. HDFC. Uh, is under a selling pressure because all the non-banking finance companies they are uh, you know having a huge selling pressure not only that what uh, what is happening now the banks are not lending to the nbfc because they are uh, they are scared that they would be a default so because they cannot give any loans they don't have any business and that's another reason the market is coming down and please understand this whole market fundamentally was expensive from the last one year. It was being propped up by liquidity. Now that has also gone from the market. Fundamentals were not supporting it. So won't be very surprised if you see the market going further down. The market has achieved the 11,200 on downside. It achieved 10,600. And today it is achieving the 10,000 also. And if 10,000 broken, uh, then you can see further downside into this market. If I'm looking at bank nifty, banks have been weak. Let's look at the weekly chart of bank nifty and we see bank nifty has corrected less compared to the nifty. Nifty has uh, gone down significantly. Bank nifty is still stronger. But now there is a selling pressure coming in Bank Nifty. Today, in fact, Bank Nifty has fallen more than the Nifty. It has been. And if this level breaks down, in a correction in the bull run, a 50% retracement level is a very common one. So uh, 23,000, uh, that can be a level that we can be looking at, which is about... Uh, uh, 1400 points down from here so that is another selling pressure that we are looking moving down reliance uh, at 1300 if you remember we sold everything and there are uh, thousand rupees is the level that i had talked about and uh, it is slowly coming towards that level 1041 is the level now and uh, this is a good target for reliance on the short side about 950 we also have to understand the swings. For example, Yes Bank, we bought at uh, 170, we sold it at about 250, and today it is again available at about 180. If a trader can find these swings, then uh, he can uh, 
you know you can make money both on the long side and on the short side banks also have a selling pressure hdfc bank considered the biggest bank in india has a huge selling pressure icic bank has earnings today uh, after chandana kochar has gone this has been a relatively stronger bank and uh, let's see how the new management fares here the volatility has increased it uh, went to a high of about 22 and uh, now we can see there is further increase in volatility indicating more bearishness into the market infosys has gone down selling and uh, this was a straight up you know and uh, when profit booking starts it can easily take any stop down ITC has broken this channel on the downward side, so bearishness in this stock also. Kotec Bank is moving down. Larson and Tubro has broken this level now today, and uh, this can be a level about a thousand fifty can be the next level for uh, LNT on the downside. Maruti came with bad numbers yesterday. Their sales have started getting affected, and we can see that from the highs a stock that looked almost infailable this can never go down kind of a stock has also corrected from 10000 rupees level to 6700 rupees level tcs another biggie is in a continuous uh, selling mode and uh, the correct valuation of this stock is also about a uh, 1000 rupees so with a big brand value you know, maybe it can it might not go to that level but one thing we know is it is definitely a candidate for a shot here. Gold has been moving up. Crude oil has corrected a little. So is the pain in the market finished? No. The pain in the market has just started. And uh, all those uh, who have bought their stocks at top and who have not been able to get out, they are experiencing that pain now. And that's why right exits trading in both the directions in long and short taking your small losses to avoid the big losses this is the key mantra if you have to become a good trader and a good investor you cannot judge the market you have to learn how to flow with the market so before i close so let's see uh, nifty closing uh, at 1018 the psychological 10,000 rupees level is now coming. And if I look at it on a bigger time frame, see, this is the big picture of the index. Are we in a beer market? No. It is a regular correction that happens in a bull market. See here, it corrected here, it corrected here, it corrected here, and it is the fourth time it is corrected. So there are regular corrections that come in the market. This is also correcting regularly only when. It breaks somewhere around this level, which is about 20% from the highs. Then uh, you can be a little worried that yes, now it has started breaking even this level and it is correcting more than 20% from the top. So take care. This market is giving good buying opportunities. You know, uh, use them. And, uh, you know, use this opportunity to start building your portfolio. This is a great time to start building your portfolio. The market is giving you another opportunity to start building your long-term wealth. So learn how to do fundamental analysis, to know what to buy, learn technical analysis properly, to time your entries and exits, and learn properly the risk management so that you can understand what risk you will be working on and the psychology of the markets has to be understood so that you are not driven by fear and greed. Down in the content, there are two links to two free introductory workshops of mine. So uh, please register with them and uh, you will receive a recording of these sessions which you can go through and understand more about the market. If you have any queries, if you want to ask anything, there is a mobile number mentioned below that you can call on and your queries will be answered. Thank you very much for attending Pathfinder's training. I'm Yogeshwar Vashisht and I wish you success in stock markets.